Hello, uh, in this uh, AWS uh, Restart uh, program, I wish to demonstrate about this uh, 182 lab that is uh, working with uh, Amazon EBS. Okay, I'll quickly explore the lab contents, uh, but before that, I also wish to start the lab. So, this uh, lab 182 basically focuses on the elastic block storage. So, I start the lab. So here is the overview of this lab. Uh, we have an EC2 instance. So what we are going to learn is that we are going to learn an Amazon EBS volume and also attach and mount to the EC2 instance which is already available. And also later we will add some data also into that once after mounting and then we will take a snapshot. Okay, And then with the help of the snapshot we also uh, take uh, create a new volume from the snapshot is like a backup you can understand so once uh, this uh, it is restored we will also again mount and see if the same contents are available or not so this is uh, the lab of uh, what we call as uh, 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 working with EBS uh, so here there are uh, features uh, EBS is a persistent storage and uh, of course it is a high performance and high reliability designed for uh, less very less failure rate as you can see this 0 0.12 uh, and very less failure rate and variable sizes you can have up to 16 TB of size and very easy also you can use I mean you can create and attach right so let us wait till the lab is uh, coming to green once it is green we can uh, continue our exercise yeah the lab is uh, now ready let me start the lab it opens uh, I can click AWS so that I will get a new tab. So I will also duplicate this tab. So one, the first one I am going to use for AWS uh, EC2. Alright. And second one also I am going to use for EC2 only. If that is, uh, maybe I will use it for uh, uh, EBS and etc. All those things for storage. Okay. So this is my EC2. I have one instance which is there with me. This is my lab VPC and in this I will just copy this public instance. Uh, this is my public IP. Of course, uh, yeah, what I need to uh, get is that from AWS details. I get this uh, PPK uh, also because this is uh, uh, really required. Yeah, lab PPK I have downloaded. Right. And also uh, just note down certain important things like my public IP is this particular one and then you can also see this uh, uh, West 2A this availability zone is uh, West uh, US uh, I can West because whenever we create volumes we need to come by the volumes. so I quickly log into the server okay I quickly log into the server showcase your uh, low I mean your public IP, public IP and in connection just give 30 minutes before timeout happens and also in SSH point out the key so this is lab user 1 by ppk so yeah and just say accept the key the default user is pc2 hyper user yes this is your first task task 1 I have logged into my uh, uh, which is uh, user right so now let us create the task one that is uh, create new EBS one so I just noted down uh, what is that uh, in my availability zone I need to note down this availability zone and go to uh, click volumes okay uh, just go down go down here in your EBS you have this volumes and create a volume create a volume you already have an OS volume earlier so let us create one more volume and uh, what we do we create a volume size of approximately 1 GB okay so general purpose don't say take it as 100 GB just give 1 GB right and availability zone just ensure your availability zone should match your instance that is 2A so here this is already in 2A uh, don't create a snapshot volume yeah that is true and uh, give the name and my volume the tags okay the tags i can do as i can add a tag 
my volume and say name as uh, uh, the name the name okay and this say create volume so the volume is created two conditions which you need to satisfy one is basically reduce the volume size to 1 GB and also ensure that this is the same availability zone of your server that is in 2A okay so once this is done task 1 is done and now let us uh, we have created the volume it's still under creation just refresh it should show you as available okay now let us attach this volume to the instance so what I do attach this one so the instance if you have correctly done you should see the instance ID and just note down the device name it is SDF so just attach volume right so the status should see you in use successfully attached okay so this is uh, task 2 done so now for task 3 uh, connect to your Amazon EC2 instance so what I do here I have logged into the session uh, this is step 3 so I am already into SSH the EC2 user up to 22 I have done already and then now uh, for uh, yeah so for the task 4 I need to configure uh, the attached volume which I have created so I can say now you see this follow the steps so this is uh, df hyper h disk free df stands for disk free see that the volumes which are currently mounted so you see this is slash div x v d a y r a and then you can see uh, Various volumes, the root volume, the level, the level, slash level, and of course slash dot etc. So now what we need to uh, create an empty address, okay, uh, of your SDF which is there. Otherwise, you can also see sudo fdisk hyphen l will show you the volume which we have created this one gb. This is the one which is there, right? So now let us uh, create sudo mkfs hyphen t. Type is ext3 t slash live sdf this gives the exact thing it has created the volume you can see this one the volume is now created and ready for mount let us create a directory you can copy paste as it is okay data store and this uh, basically command creates the directory in data store yeah i have created let us also let me also mount slash live sdf uh, to slash mnt data store mnt data store so this uh, newly created uh, uh, volume will be mounted on this particular directory you can also verify again df hyphen h this should display the 1 gb which i have created you see this one data store 924 mb okay which has been mounted so now let me add some data let me add some data to uh, this particular folder slash the sdf maybe mnt data store defaults to sudo t fs tab so this will create an entry into the fs tab what does that mean if it creates an entry into the fs tab it will automatically whenever you reboot also this folder will be mounted accordingly you see this one i will just issue this command it has now mounted as slash the sdf you can see this file also slash cat etc fs tab the entry should be shown across uh, this is mounted okay this is uh, the uh, device file and this is the mount point and of course you see the file system defaults and of course in the one and two are it's not a swap file etc so it is showing now it's very nice now let me create some text file file dot text into uh, the mnt file okay so i just run this command so this is uh, just telling you about it some text has been written yeah so you can verify also mnt data store there will be one file yeah there is one file called as file.txt see this some text has been written fine this completes my task 4 now task 5 let me create the snapshot 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 is the true image of what you call as uh, uh, your data one right so here I go to Amazon Management My Volume and create a snapshot against that. I already have my volume. I take this under actions. I can take a snapshot, create a snapshot. So here, uh, this is your volume ID. If you want, you can write description. Yeah. 
so my volume create the snapshot and as you can say uh, when you create a snapshot add a tag so my snapshot I'll give a tag here Say name. Let's say my snapshot. Name, name, I do. Right. And say create a snapshot. It will take a couple of minutes to create the snapshot, which is available. So the request has been taken. You can verify the snapshots uh, whether it is completed or not. So this is the snapshot volume. Yeah. So you can see this is still pending. So once it is created, you should see the status as available. So this should uh, complete once we uh, do this, uh, what we call this, uh, uh, the after the snapshot is complete. So yeah, please do not delete this one RM file until unless the snapshot is available. This is only a demonstration for you, even if I delete the file, how to restore back. Okay. So here, uh, let me see, it should take approximately one or two minutes. Let me come back. Yeah, the snapshot is completed. You can see this one. Once this is completed, let me try to delete some files, which is the file.txt file here, rm, okay, sudo rm file.txt, I'll give it that, sudo rm file.txt, okay, so now the file is not there, only option is that we need to restore from the snapshot, okay, let us do how to do this particular uh, restoration from the snapshot, so here, okay, once again from the snapshot, I need to create a volume so create a volume okay so create a volume and then attach to the ec2 instance then you can copy back so let me go back to the snapshot this is the snapshot from the snapshot under actions create volume from the snapshot okay this is one gb and ensure that same availability zone should be there okay and then uh, okay that's all uh, all things are right now create a snapshot create a volume yeah, once the volume is uh, created, we can attach uh, this volume uh, to uh, this EC2 instance. So that will be uh, slash dev sdg. You will see that. So this is successfully created. Go back to volumes and see one new volume should be available. Yeah, this will be available. So you can also name this volume also. Maybe you can say restored volume or something. Restore for our understanding. This is available now. Let me attach this now. Select this one and attach to the EC2 instance. See that only this one is selected. Okay, attach to this volume to your EC2 instance. So this is done and attached. So this one, you see this one restore volume is attached. And this should be uh, slash dev. You can see the properties also. You can see this. Uh, this this is the volume. Yeah. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Right. This is the one. Now let us quickly perform this slash dev stg uh, to see a volume back into action. So I'll create a, a second directory. Already I have this particular one, which is called as a, a under mnt. Uh, this is the one. So I will create one more directory. So go back and then create the directory. You should see one more directory called as data store 2. And then uh, you can say sudo mount slash dev sdg to mnt data store 2. So you can see this one. Go back to uh, uh, you should see the file. You should see the file. Now you can uh, uh, copy back. Uh, your files you can see the file content also file.txt right so cp file.txt dot dot slash i say yeah sudo i should say sudo i can copy this yeah done so dot dot cp i get back my file so congratulations you have successfully created your volume attach the volume and also uh, we have uh, gone through, we, have we learned about how to take a snapshot and also uh, a new volume from the snapshot and mount it back and restore the data file. So this is about our lab, congratulations, you have completed the lab and uh, yeah, let me uh, complete by saying end lab. 
so that the resources gets terminated thank you everyone and bye